Hey, it's Dr. Brett here, and I'm a chiropractor by trade. I'm also a tinnitus sufferer myself. Um, I don't like to use the word sufferer, I guess. That's, that's a bad way to, to describe it. But those of you who might be tuning in right now, <clears throat> that's probably how you feel. And I wanted to make this video just because I've been through that initial stage of stuff. I had a, an incident, a couple incidents that basically set it off. And it was a pretty abrasive process in the beginning. Um, a lot of doubts and fears and just struggles you go through and tears you shed, um, not knowing what's going to happen, if it's going to change, <clears throat> who do you listen to, who do you believe, you read stuff on the internet, it makes you feel worse about it. And I think um, I want to share this because, I, like I said, I've been there, I felt that, and I've also got perspective now after the fact, looking back at it and realizing that that initial stage, that initial fear, that initial anxiety that sets, it, sets in with it, it doesn't last. That's, that's the first thing I want to explain to you is that you start to create a different perspective, a different story around it. You learn different tips and tricks through the process to, to better deal with it. Your body adapts to it. Something called habituation takes place and, and your brain starts to recalibrate that noise and you start to put it in its, in its proper place. Those all happen <clears throat> over a course of time. Um, you just emotionally learn to deal with it in a way that's productive versus counterproductive. Because I guarantee you in that first, I mean, heck, three months for me, there were days I was like, I don't ever tell my wife this, like if I got to live this way forever, I have a real hard time doing that. Not, I wasn't suicidal or anything like that, but at the same time, I can see how people get to that point. If you are at that point, know this for a fact, it will get better. And you got to find other people who have been through it to tell you that to get around them. There's other people that are out there, they're gonna to explain to you and try to tell you that it'll never get better. It's always gonna be awful. Stop reading the internet first and foremost. Surround yourself, work with people that have been there, done that, that have, have become a victor over it versus a victim of uh, tinnitus. And I think that's the thing you have to understand is that you're in control of this. You don't feel like it right now, but you're in control of this, one, with how you react to it. You're going to learn, you have to respond to it in a way that's productive versus react in a way that creates a bigger problem. Secondly, <clears throat> you've got to get a toolbox built. That toolbox is going to be made up of different things that you learn. And some of the other videos that there's going to be links to in this as well, too, that are going to help you through the tough times. Because here's the thing. I've dealt with it for 9, 12 months. I don't even know how long it's been, to be completely honest with you. I don't think about it as much anymore. The tools in my toolbox help me deal with the times when it gets bad. Because there's times where it becomes more noticeable. When I get more stressed, when I don't get my sleep, when I'm not good to myself nutritionally, uh, those all are things that trigger it for me. You're going to have certain things that trigger it for you. High stress incidences that you have all of a sudden bring this back to the surface. And again, you start to question that, the situation again. And you start questioning how long is this going to be. Uh, <clears throat> so again, it's going to get better. The other cool thing you got to keep in mind and realize is that right now, Modern medicine, modern healthcare, modern research is starting to find ways that they're actually talking about they're going to find a cure for this. It may not be tomorrow, it may not be five years, even 10 years with it, but you've got to understand that if you can properly adapt to this over a course of time, there's going to be a way to get rid of this. I can't guarantee that, but I, I have a, a really strong hope and a belief after reading a lot of stuff that's going to happen. So dig your heels in a little bit, get around people who are going to support you not make things worse on you. Stop reading the internet. That's the first and foremost thing. You're gonna find the worst possible scenario with this. You continue to read the internet and read the stupid comments that people who can't handle it start to make. Be a strong person with this. Start to build some resilience with this. And I will guarantee you this, and I will say this about myself. The tough times of this have built more character and create a better version of me after the fact because I can handle things that are difficult. I can handle things that push my buttons better now. I'm a better person, I'm a stronger person because of it. And understand that the, the biggest curses you have sometimes, not sometimes, many times become the biggest blessings you have as well too. You gotta have some faith in that as well. So find things that give you a sense of, of peace and calming and fulfillment in your life. Center and focus yourself around that stuff. Uh, things that create more fear and more anxiety and more stress, get rid of them. It's something that's going to better your life in so many other ways. And that's what you're going to find is that your health in general, your sense of peace and well-being is going to increase through this. In the beginning, it's going to suck. I guarantee you that. Own that. But if, as you make a choice to overcome this versus get buried by it, 
you're going to start to change that. You're going to climb a ladder. It's going to lead to a better spot. I guarantee you that. So again, I hope this preaches some little bit of faith into your life and a little belief that this thing's going to get better. I've been in your shoes. It will.